All right, welcome everyone. Okay, we are back to um, hopefully I can get um, a few more videos done before I do my last ride of the day. Okay, this is from the book The Power of a Praying Wife, and um, the prayer for this video is His Walk. Okay. O oh Lord, I know the way of man is not in himself. It is not in man who walks to direct his own steps. Jeremiah 10.23 Therefore, Lord, I pray that you would direct my husband's steps. Lead him in your light. Teach him your way so he will walk in your truth. I pray that he would have a deeper walk with you and an ever-progressing hunger for your word. May your presence be like a delicacy he never ceases to crave. Lead him on your path and make him quick to confess when he strays from it. Reveal to him any hidden sin that would hinder him from walking rightly before you. May he experience deep repentance when he doesn't live in obedience to your laws. Create in him a clean heart and renew a steadfast spirit within him. Don't cast him away from your presence and do not take your Holy Spirit from him. Psalm 51, 10 and 11. Lord, your word says that those who are in the flesh cannot please you. Romans 8, 8. So I pray that you will enable, your husband's name, to walk in the spirit and not in the flesh and thereby keep himself from the paths of the destroyer. Psalm 17, 4. As he walks in the spirit, may he bear the fruit of the spirit, which is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Galatians 5, 22 and 23. Keep him on the highway of holiness that the way he walks will be integrated into every part of his life. <clears throat> Power tools. Walk worthy of the calling with which you were called, with all lowliness and gentleness, with long suffering, bearing one another in love. Ephesians 4, 1 and 2. He who walks righteously and speaks uprightly, he who despises the gain of oppressions, whose gestures who gestures with his hands, refusing bribes, who stops his ears from hearing of bloodshed and shuts his eyes from seeing evil. He will dwell on high. His place of defense will be the fortress of rocks. Bread will be given him. His water will be sure. Isaiah 33, 15 and 16. Having these promises, beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. 2 Corinthians 7, 1. Lord, who may abide in your tabernacle, who may dwell in your holy hill? He who walks uprightly and works righteousness and speaks the truth in his heart. Psalm 15, 1 and 2. Okay, so that is the prayer dealing with um, our husband's walk. So until the next video, take care and God bless.